Greetings from Connect Coffee, Joseph here. Welcome to the second episode of our coffee series. In today's video, we are going to shed some light on coffee processing. Coffee processing is very important in determining how coffee will taste as a final product. Did you know that coffee bean is a seed inside a coffee cherry? The coffee cherry is made up of the outer skin, the pulp, the mucilage, the parchment layer, the silver skin, and the bean itself. The cherry must be separated from the bean properly. For this, we can use three methods. The washed, the semi-washed, and the natural process. The wash process is into two steps, the primary processing and the secondary process. The primary processing involves pulping, fermentation, washing and drying. The secondary is hulling, polishing, grading, bagging and storage. During this process, coffee is first pulped to remove the outer skin, leaving a sticky layer of mucilage on the bean. The coffee is held in fermentation tank for around 12 to 48 hours to remove the mucilage and as a result, coffee develops its flavors and acidity. After fermentation, the beans are laid out on raised bed for drying and frequent turning occurs so that the drying is even all over the bean. This normally takes around two to four weeks until they dry a moisture content of 11 to 12 percent. After drying, the coffee now is subjected to secondary processing. The first step is hulling. This is where the parchment layer is mechanically removed, after which the coffee undergoes through an optional polishing process to remove the silver skin, then graded according to size, shape, and weight. And classified as either AA, the AB, the C, the PB, the TT, or the T. Proper care should be taken when storing the beans. It is recommended to store the, the green beans in either jute bags, vacuum seal bags, or green pro bags. The second coffee processing method is the semi-washed, also referred as the honey process. Coffee is pulped to remove the outer skin and the pulp. Then it is laid out to dry after which it is hulled, polished, graded, and then stored. The third method is the natural process. In this process, the coffee cherries are dried completely with the pulp intact on raised coffee beds. And once they reach an ideal moisture level of 12%, the entire husk is mechanically removed to reveal a much fruitier green coffee bean due to the extended contact of fruit to seed. The beans are then graded and properly stored awaiting the roasting process. The choice of the processing method has an influence on the final cup. It can influence either the taste, the flavor, or even the body of the cup. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Until next time, stay safe and stay connected.